Ben Johnson and welcome back for another iOS development tutorial. In today's episode we're going to finish off our view controllers that we made for our views and in the last tutorial we actually did our iBank loan view controller.m and added the implementation as you can see here. Now let's do the same for the investment. It's similar but it is different. So let's jump over to the iBank investment view controller.m and what I'm going to do here is put my code over here alright so let's get started again I'm gonna create a custom method it's gonna return nothing it's just gonna do something to allow me to package up my code and use it anywhere within the class if I want to so what we're gonna type in is process fields that's what I'm going to call it and I'm going to put the scope in with the two curly braces um, again we have to import our um, import our header file for our custom class which is the ibank sir class right and then we have to make the object again so it is ibank sir pointer I'm going to call it bank equals ibank sir uh, allocate and init oh wrong thing end it off and end it with a semicolon now we've got that object we can start using it so what we want to do is we want to we're going to write some pretty large methods here, but I'm going to split them across lines. You can write across the page uh, just for viewing purposes. So the first one is going to be interest label, right? Set text to an NS string, which we're making string with format, right? At because it's an NS string special to um, Objective-C the dollar sign, the percent I comma and when here we are actually instead of recording our results from those methods that we've called on the bank class like we did in the loan view controller dot M we're actually calling them directly to make the string instead of adding them later on this just uh, gets rid of the extra step we did and but it looks more complicated so hopefully you guys can handle it so then we're gonna set it equal to the bank investment return right and we're gonna pass in some values here as I said it's going to get pretty long at the moment so I'm gonna put it on another line here so remember that Objective-C is not a white space sensitive language you can have as many white spaces as you want right you can write as how you want it and that sort of thing uh, so then we're gonna put investment dot text field right int value because we're we want to pass that integer value in if I can get that dot text sorry int value right end it because we're ending that statement then I'm gonna go over to the investment period and type period text field dot text int value right and I'm gonna put that on a separate line here so it doesn't get as confusing for you guys reading it so We've got our label here. We're going to set the text to a new NS string. String with format is the dollar sign, and we're going to place an integer in there. And then we're going to call a method called investment return. It's going. We're going to pass in the text and the integer value from that text, which is the amount. And we're going to pass in the period of the time, and we're going to get that in value, right? For that method that's going to return the integer for our string. It gets kind of confusing but if you have any trouble just read through it and make sure you understand it. Alright now here's where it gets kind of like Inception. It gets kind of crazy here. Now 
that a helpful feature in Xcode is just see that little yellow thing that just popped up it just tells you what bracket define what bracket so if I put another bracket you can see that it goes further back but we still haven't finished that statement so we need another bracket again it nearly finished it and another bracket here and that finally finishes the statement over here so we've got so many brackets that we've got four brackets inside of each other so really kinda complex um, I hope you can understand this it's probably not the best way to write code but it is a way to reduce the amount of lines of code so if you want complexity compact complexity you can do it like that if you want easier route uh, you can do it similar to the way we did the iBank loan view controller and you can see that there's no errors here it's perfectly written and it's perfectly valid uh, way to write things I could even put that all on one line if I wanted to alright so now we have got that complex method call that sets the text of the interest label to that method and its parameters we're gonna re set the return label right we're gonna set that text to a new and a string again we're calling that factory method string with format at and this time it's dollar side percent i and we're gonna do another comma and another complex statement here it's going to call bank the investment return we're gonna pass in some integers in here and again it's going to be invest text field dot text because we're referring to the text property then we're going to convert that to an int value that will return that integer to that parameter uh, next the same thing period text field dot text and we have int value and I'll just split this up into multiple lines so you guys can read it alright so we're have to finish off the bracket so again use that little yellow highlighting feature that Xcode gives you so that finishes off that finishes off and did I make an error here ah and another one and another one right and you can see that syntax highlighting working just then when we actually had sufficient ending brackets there alright so we've got that method and that's just about nearly about it we just have to activate it on our submit button and that's basically easy to do all we do is again self and process fields end it with a semicolon and there you go that's it um, again it would be useless testing it because we have that keyboard that pops up but I'm pretty sure it works. We'll see when we actually work out how to dismiss that keyboard. But until then, see you guys later.